Aaron, you are my best friend. I wanted to use this time to share some clips of our past together. We've been together for over 10 years now. We've been, we will be married for seven years this year, which is just crazy. Um, we, we've become parents, you know, we just had so much fun. What never changes for me is that in spite of how I might feel some days, you know, if we're angry or we're stressed out or whatever, it's like Aaron is my best friend and I wouldn't want to do this life with anyone else besides how beautiful you are, besides how funny you are and how talented and creative your greatness, your creativity and I love you. But besides all of that, you are my best friend and I want you to know that and I love you so deeply and so much and I don't know what I would do without you and I'm so excited to see what we're going to continue to do together. We want to, we want to take trips, we want to move, we want to travel the world, we want to bring people together with us, our families, our brothers, our mothers, like we want to bring these people around us in a sense of community we feel so antisocial, you and I do. Like it's our goal for this year for us to make friends and do more things with people that are right here in our hometown. Um, but we have this longing for as antisocial as you and I seem or feel, we both long to connect with people deeply. And I'm excited for our second Costa Rica retreat. I can't believe that. We used to talk about it as if I don't know, I almost didn't believe that we ever would, but like I wanted to, but we are going to now have already done it twice in like a matter of weeks. Just crazy. So I'm thankful again to God for you because I just feel like we were meant to be together. We're such a good team. We have so much fun. And I think that we can continue to change not just our lives, but the people's lives around us and those that we talk to and and visit and that come on our retreats we have good intentions and we love each other and we love our little boy max like crazy he is adorable he looks mostly like you aaron that's why he's so cute he's hilarious he's getting a personality i can't wait for him to start talking and like you said, I can't wait for him to be there for us, as you kind of already experienced the other day. We're all he has, right? And we're like, okay, all over him all the time, like doing whatever he needs all the time. But you witnessed for the first time the other day when you were upset, he comforted you. Like he knows that and he will continue. Just like my brother and I, you know, care for our mom and, and all of us care for our mothers, right? I forget that he's going to be that for us and I just am so excited and I can't wait and I thank you for the love that you give me and him and the life that again we've started together and the life that we have ahead I'm just so excited about it so thank you I love you happy Valentine's Day I'm gonna try to dig up some really juicy footage
Hey guys, it's me again. I'm just here. <laughs> here to give a little bit of tips on hairstyles. <laughs> Just assumed I'd play the part Of keeping you in the right direction No matter how your confidence may fall I'll be here as your foundation And I say hey Hey guys, I'm Dusty. And I'm Aaron. This is Beaumont, and we are the Stanzix. We, uh, we're starting a, a YouTube series for you guys. There's three things we all do every day, but we could all be doing them a lot better. Eat, move, and rest. It's all about getting back to the basics. Learning how to do those three things better. Hi guys, I'm Aaron, and welcome to Eat, Move, Rest. Trying to teach people how to eat, move, and rest better. Um, it has to have like a kind of... How beautiful does that look? Do you want to tell them? We finally hit 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> so, we are expecting... <laughs> Soon, we will be blending for three. Shut read, up! Read it out loud. Shut up! Not. Oh my god! Are you cereal? Having a baby! Oh my god, are you kidding me? I just assumed I'd play the part Of keeping you in the right direction your foundation and I say hey you just let it go your struggles won't remain and I say hey yo we're holding hope and wake up yesterday so hold on to me hold on to
I did actually want to say one more thing. So, Aaron, if you remember, we were watching a movie, or I was watching a movie because you were, I think, putting a blog post together or something. And you were like, hey, I need a good uh, quote for my blog. Do you have any good love quotes? And I like rifled off three right away and sent them to you. And you didn't really say anything. And I was like, oh man, she probably like was weirded out by that. But I had been actually looking up quotes, like love quotes on my phone. I'm not sure why. I think it was because of the movie I was watching that they were like, I don't know, this, this kid was all romantic and he was doing quotes. And I'm like, oh man, I need to learn some of these quotes so I can say them to Aaron. And there's a million that are cool, right? And like sexy and inspiring and lovey and all of these things. But one of my favorites is from Henry or Henri uh, Matisse, however you say it. Um, and he said, there are always flowers for those who want to see them. And I love that. I just love that life is not always just, you know, a bed of roses, like, like the saying goes. Life's difficult, you know. And the, you've seen me struggle these last couple of years, which I've considered to be very difficult, but it's also been like the best two years at the same time. Like Max is born, we've traveled, we've done these cool things. And it's like, it's kind of what you focus on, right? Life is what you focus on. And if you want to see the love and the light or the flowers, like this quote says, they're there for those who choose to see them. And I think it's easy for us all to get caught up focusing on the feelings or like the pains, whatever it is that is the loudest in the back of our heads, right? Which unfortunately happens to almost always be the negative, scary thing that happened to us. For whatever reason, that has to be barking the loudest, right? But we can actually think back to, yeah, that was scary and painful and hurtful and that was sad and whatever. But we can actually look back and say, but what was inspiring about this last year? And what was exciting and how have I grown? And so yeah, I want us to continue to see the flowers. Even when we're stranded along a dusty road somewhere, I want us to be able to look at each other, to hold each other, to hold Max, and see the flowers. Like Matisse, the famous artist, apparently once said, the flowers are there for those who choose to see them. So let's always choose to see the flowers even when they maybe aren't there. And just in case I don't get you flowers for Valentine's Day, that that goes for that too. So <laughs> anyway, I'm probably gonna get you flowers. I'll, I'll try to get you flowers. Sometimes they're sold out, but anyway, love you. Happy Valentine's Day. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.